no, no. Children, children. I've asked you a question no, no, about Mohammed's mine. example in the fact that he had six slaves. And you're saying Mohammed is an example to you today. So was Mohammed a good example or a bad example when he had sex slaves? Because and when he allowed his to have sex You're not a good example. When he's a good example. What are you talking about? Does anyone notice that he's not answering the question? Answer Moses my is a good example. So they're all good examples. So, so that's what I said. You don't. I'll ask the question. I'll ask the question. I'll ask the question. I'll ask the question again. I'll ask the question again. I'll ask the question again. Was Mohammed a good or a bad example to you when he had sex? So. Mohammed was a good example. Excuse me. Do you want to have sex come with Moses, with the Jews. Do you want to have sex slaves? Yeah, but you're going to miss this. First Samuel 15.3, what does it say? Yeah. First Samuel. Okay, let's talk together. So, we're, we're talking about Mohammed, but they don't want to talk about Mohammed. They want to talk about First Samuel. They don't want to talk about Mohammed. I'll address that point. I'll address that point. I'll address that point. I will address that point. Let me 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 address that point. If, if he can be quiet for a second, I'll try and address your point. If he can be quiet for a second, I'll try and address that point. Right, so, my point to you is, my point to you is, that the Jews today don't read the Torah, they believe in the Torah, but they don't read the Torah and think they have to have sex slaves. Slavery in the Islamic world was only made illegal the last century. Now I'll ask you again, because you haven't answered my question. Muhammad had sex slaves, and the Sahaba, the followers of Muhammad had sex slaves. Do you think that's a good example or a bad example? Do you think that's what a good, good example? The commandment was given, was it morally You're not acceptable my question. or not? No, no, I need to know that command was given to Moses. Answer my by question. You God, by your God, by your God. Answer my acceptable. question. Was it morally acceptable? The Jews do not argue for the reinstitution of slavery. They don't argue that. Excuse me. So, I will ask you again. Was Muhammad a good or a bad example to have sex slaves? The Jews answer the question. Good or bad? Is this hard and is my answer the question? Is there any Muslim here that wants to answer the question? I'm a Muslim. You're a Muslim. I'll ask you then. No, but I don't believe the way that they believe. That's fine. I don't believe the Hadith of Sunnah because the Hadith of the Sunnah actually demonized the Prophet. Okay. But if you want to understand the Prophet, you study the book itself that he delivered. The Quran. Yeah, then you understand what he really was as opposed to how they be led to believe it. Okay, so let me ask you this question because obviously we've got two kinds of Muslims here which addresses this guy's Sorry, question. we are Muslim we've got, one. We've got we are not kind of Muslims. Who believe we are Muslim one. And some Muslims who don't believe in the Hadith. Muslim. No chance let me for ask you. you this question. No, 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 no we are two kinds of Muslims. In a Quran only version of Islam, without the Hadith, is slavery permissible or impermissible? Impermissible. So there is no verse in the Quran that talks about slavery. Yes, there is, but the question you've asked me, does Salam permit yeah. slavery? It does not permit it. It does not permit it. So Muhammad didn't instruct his followers to have slaves? Bring me the verse. Okay, so... So the brother... The brother here... The brother here said... There's no verse in the Quran. No, I didn't say no, that. I don't believe There's it. no verse in the that. Quran that permits that allows slavery. That allows slavery. Okay. So listen. What chapter is it? Surah 4, 24. Could you find the one about the prostitution? Yeah. Surah 4, 24. Also prohibited are women already married, except those whom your right hands possess. This is talking about slavery. Yeah. This is talking about the possession of one human owning another How human. How do you know why you're not in the throne? No. The How do you know that? Which hadith? Ibn Kathir. Well, Ibn Kathir, no. Here's another verse. Ibn Kathir. 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 Here's another verse. Ibn Here's another verse. Which proof? 2433. Yes. So, another verse. How do you know this? The Quran. This is your Quran. No, no, no. Yeah. Translated yeah. by your own Muslim scholars. This isn't a Christian. Give me the Quran. This is a Christian. He can explain the Quran the way he wants. He can write what he wants. What are you talking about here? A lot of the translations that you have today yeah. should translate the Quran, they use the Hadith and Sunnah. Speak up, brother. This brother can't hear you. Speak up. What they do is Louder, louder. There are certain verses within the Quran. Yeah. But translate that doesn't matter. It's your brother. Using the hadith and sunnah it's your brother to translate the Quran. And what they've done is to justify certain sayings within the hadith 
they've manipulated certain words because we know as Muslims that words in Arabic have multiple meaning words. One word can mean a hundred different things. Okay. But what the, what, the, what the translators have done, have decided to choose a particular word to corroborate with the hadith, that they could have chosen an alternative meaning for that same word. How do you know the wrong? Okay, brother, sorry, if I may. This is a response, the defense given by this Muslim brother, because these two Muslim brothers didn't want to answer the question, was that the translators have manipulated the translation to a, certain verses to agree with the hadith. Now I have a couple of responses to that. Firstly, is there many? Is there any Muslim here who believes that you can be a Muslim without believing in the hadith? Put your hand up. Do you believe in the hadith? Do you believe in the hadith? According to you, is this man who doesn't believe in the hadith a Muslim? Yes. Okay. Do you reject all hadith? Period. All hadith. Period. Period. Just the Quran. Okay. So, is there a translation of the Quran that you believe in? Yeah. Which? It's uh, by Edip um, Yuxa. Edip Yuxa. Edip Yuxa. Yeah. I don't know who he is. It's a great translator. That's fair enough. I will have to look it up. Yeah. I will have to look it up. So, I look at this uh, other uh, website. Yeah. Quranislam.org. Quran from them. Quran no, no. Quranislam.org. Okay. Fantastic information. Now, about since Islam. you, if you could bring forward that translation, we'll work from the two together. We'll work from the two together. According to the Quran, in Surah 24, Ayah 33, it states, and I quote, translated by Yusuf Ali, a scholar of Islam, but force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity in order that ye may make a gain in the goods of this life. But, but, if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion, Allah is of forgiving most merciful. So the Quran is discouraging Muslims from forcing women into prostitution, but it's saying if you do it, Allah will turn to you in mercy because he's off forgiving most merciful. So I ask all the Muslims here, does that ring good with your conscience? Do you think it is good to force women into prostitution? No. Yes or no? Muhammad, these are not my words. These are the words of Yusuf Ali. Leave the Muslim alone. Why are you deceiving? Why don't leave the Muslim he alone? Deceiving. Muhammad, his brother said, I'm deceiving. deceiving. So film the verse. Film the verse. It's going to be on YouTube. The verse. Film the verse. See the verse. Would you like to read the verse? This man is saying that I'm lying. This man is saying that I'm lying. He accuses me of lying. I've got the verse here. I'll read it again. I'll show you the verse. But force not your maid to prostitution when they desire chastity in order that you may make a gain in the good of this life. But if anyone, but if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion, is Allah of forgiving most merciful. That's Yosef Ali's translation of the Quran. I'm not making it up. The enemy is there. Tell him, ask him, he wants That's me to show him. Oh, oh, Anyone who oh, wants oh, to look, oh, I'm holding oh, the book. Yeah, who you can look for this. Yeah. He, he wants to read. Your translation is different from my translation. Okay, brothers, brothers, this guy has a different translation yeah. of the Quran, a different version. Yeah. Read your version. It says, Let those who are not able to marry. Continue to be chaste until Allah is not going to be chaste. Allah is not going to be chaste. We don't have to be Can we? Still have different. Let those who are not able to marry continue to be chaste until Allah enriches them of His bounty. If those whom you have contractual rights 
we sing the signature and sign with them if you find that they are ready and give them from the wealth of Allah which he has bestowed upon them. Do not force your daughters into marriage when they have desired independence in order that you may make a gain in the goods of this worldly life. But if anyone has compelled them, then considering their compulsion, Allah is forgiving. Muslims. Okay, so what we have here is two really radical different translations of the one Quran. Mine says prostitution, his says marriage. So, let me ask you this question. How many copies of the Quran are there? How many? How do you know that there is a prostitute? How do you know Jews. What? How do you know Christian and Jews? Mary and Virgin, we love Mary and Virgin, we love her. We never talk about Christianity, Who but... translated your version? Who translated your version of the Quran? Edip Yuxa. Edip Yuxa. Mine's Yosif Ali. We have... So here's, this is an interesting point. We have two Arabic speakers who can't agree whether a word is saying prostitution or marriage. No, which one? So has anyone got hold of the Arabic? So, Coming back to my point, those of you, those of you who believe Muhammad is your by no one. Which one? Which Quran? The Bible is not memorized by no one. Don't be get too. Hard. Which Quran? Slaves. Yes or no? Excuse me. Can you ask why? Why you don't go to Baba? No, no, no. Forget Muhammad. Why you don't go to Baba of Roma? I know. Mother Teresa. And if you address that, then we can address. Okay. So, we love you. We love Muslims. My family is Jews. My family is Christian. My family they're Jewish. I'm Muslim. What's wrong with it? That's the wrong people. Go away from us. Like a rubbish. Okay. And you show me. Yeah, okay. And then you show me. No, where is example than no, that in the Quran? So, so, and you show me where is command meant. You find in the Quran than this. So, Show me. the Muslims don't want to answer the question. Okay, the Muslims they don't. Why do you want to answer, answer any question? Answer any question. Answer any question. They don't want to answer, answer any, any question. They want to talk about the Old Testament. I believe we know. Let me answer this question and then we'll talk about the Old Testament. So, if I do something that's wrong, and then someone else who does something that's wrong, does that justify what I do? Yes or no? I don't even know. It doesn't. So, 15, 15, 3. Now it says in the book of Samuel 115, this is the, the Muslim's defense. He didn't want to answer the question about whether Muhammad was a moral example. He didn't want to answer the question about whether he should take slaves or not. And he didn't want to talk about the verse that said not forcing women into prostitution. Instead he wanted to change the subject and talk about this verse. Now go and strike Amalek and utterly destroy all that he has. And do not spare him. But put to death both man, woman and child, infant and sheep, sorry, infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Now, so, do I believe that this is something that I should do? No. At the time, yes. It was acceptable. It was acceptable at the time, yes. I rest in my case. I, it was acceptable at the time. But here's the difference. Here's the difference. Do you accept that it is morally acceptable to have slaves today? I'm not asking you today. He's not answering the question again. I'll ask the Muslim one more time. Please. Well, I don't know your name. I'll call you by your name if you want. What's your name? If you call that okay. acceptable. So I'll ask the brother again. Do you believe it's morally acceptable to have slaves today? Fuck off! Fuck off is the answer! What the fuck? It wasn't morally acceptable at that time. It was morally acceptable at that time. So answer my question. Is it morally acceptable to have slaves today? He's still not answering the question. Is there any Muslim that would like to answer the question? Where does it say the Quran that I should be slaves? Ask it again, brother! I'll do a census! We'll do a quick census of all of you who can hear my voice right now. If you are a Muslim, do you believe that it's morally acceptable to have slaves 
today, put your hand up. None of them. And that's a good thing. It shows that you all have a conscience and you know right from wrong. Congratulations. But let me ask you this question. Is Mohammed a moral example to you? If he is a moral example, when he had slaves and he allowed his Sahaba to have slaves, is that something you should follow? Jesus said you should have slaves. No. He said be your slaves, do your slaves. Why are you mad? The lady, the sister made a point. Her argument. Was the Muhammad was freeing slaves, that this was a pagan hangover that Muhammad was getting rid of. Muhammad. Come to Muhammad in Egypt. And that this was something from the pagan fire. Bukhari, volume 3, book 47, number 765, narrated by Kurib, the freed slave of Abi Nibas, that Mayumuna bint al Harith told, told him that she had manumitted a slave girl without taking the permission of the Prophet on the day when it was turned to be with the Prophet. She said, do you know, O Allah's Apostle, that I have manumitted my slave girl? He said, have you really? She replied in the affirmative. He said, you would have got more reward if you had given her, i.e. the slave girl, to one of your maternal uncles. Can I say something, please? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I say something? Yes, are, you, are you here to know about Islam? You really want to know about Islam? Sister. No, no, no. Sir, sister, 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 she's not just I rejected Islam because of things like okay, this. Now, Islam, who are you? I just want to say, say just a suggestion. Oh, just to, just, just you know, yeah. if you want to learn about Islam, no, don't call me that. I broke it. This check. Going through the internet, Google, and these books won't help you. Don't call me this. 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 Don't Listen to your conscience, not to a book, because your conscience comes from God. The books we can debate about all day long. I'll ask you the question I started with. Mohammed kept slaves. The Sahaba kept slaves. Do the Muslims here believe that you should keep slaves? Just raise your hand. None of you. Because your conscience is greater than the Quran. Your conscience is greater than the Hadith. Listen to your conscience, not to the books, not to the preachers. You know what the Quran says? The Christian West has had the most slaves in history. 
How can you talk about slavery when the Christian West yeah, yeah. has had the most slaves Thank in the history to today? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Till today, yeah. 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 till today, explain and, it. And you know what? He's just arguing. He just looks, just looks, just looks, just looks, You're just shouting. Why is the Christian West the height of slavery came from the Christian West? Okay. So the, so the brother. Hey. So this brother says, well, how can you talk about these things? European Christians have had the biggest slave industry in history. Wow. So now the reply. Firstly, slavery is universal. The word slavery comes from a Greek word referring to Slavs, which is white people enslaving white people. The Islamic slave trade started with Mohammed and continues Today, you can still buy a black slave in Sudan. They steal them from the Christian South and they sell them in the markets of Khartoum. In Chad, the slavery is still an industry that goes on. The Islamic world has never fully outlawed the slave trade. And the reason is because they have no premise to do so. Slavery is justified in the Quran, it's justified in the Hadith. Well, you've not justified it in Christianity. Christians kept slaves. You have not justified this it. is a fact. We kept slaves. However, it was the Christians that outlawed slavery first. And you made it. It was Christians who used our armies and our navies to suppress the Islamic slave trade. It was Christian governments that put pressure on the Islamic governments to end their Islamic slave trade. This brother doesn't know about the Janissaries. This brother doesn't know about the Mamluks. Do you know why? Because he doesn't know about Islamic history. The Janissaries were a slave army taken from white European Christians. The Mamluks was a slave army taken from Africa. How can he justify Islam by pointing to the faults of Christians? When Christians repented, when Christians fought against it, but the Muslims, the Muslims continue to do it today in Chad, in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, in Sudan. He has to learn his facts. If the sister raises a good point. We know from the Hadith that Muhammad had slaves. We know from the Quran Muhammad had slaves. But look at Jesus, the Christ. In a time when slavery was permissible, in a time when Christ could have had slaves, he had none, not one, not ever. And he is our example. So I ask the Muslims, who is a better example according to your conscience, Muhammad or Jesus?